Live from Madrid, Spain, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Madrid 2017. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Welcome back to Madrid, everybody. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante. I'm here with Peter Burris. This is day one of HPE Discover Madrid. Olivier Frank is here. He's a worldwide senior sales director uh, for alliances for IoT at HPE. And Kurt Bayer, otherwise known as Bagger in, in English, <laughs> uh, in America, is v vice president of IoT solutions for EMEA PTC. Did I get that right? Yeah, you did it. Bayer? All right, job. well thank Good you job. for sharing that with me. <laughs> Welcome to theCUBE, gentlemen. Thank you. Olivier, let me start with you. Um, the relationship between uh, PTC and HPE is not brand new. You guys got together a while back. What catalyzed that getting together? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question and you know, thank you for inviting us. It's a great uh, pleasure to be on theCUBE and for me the first time, so Welcome. thank you for that. Um, yeah, you know, uh, the, um, the partnership um, uh, is all about you know, action and doing things together. So we did uh, start about a year ago with, uh, you may remember, FlowServe and uh, Industrial Pump that we showcased. And since then we've been working very closely uh, together to um, uh, actually allow our customers to go and test the technology themselves. So um, uh, I would say the partnership has matured. We now have uh, two live um, environments that customers can visit. One in uh, Europe, in Germany, in Aachen, uh, with the RWTH uh, University, and one in the US uh, near Houston with uh, Texmark, who you know because you, yep. they also came to the, to the show. Right, okay, okay, give us the update on, on PTC, company's been in business for a long time. IoT is like a tailwind it for is, you. That's right, PTC is mostly known for CAT and PLM. So for 30 years they have made the 3D CAT software for when you uh, design and make an aircraft or a car engine. But over the last five years, PTC have moved uh, heavily into IoT, spent a billion on uh, acquiring and designing a software, a software platform that uh, can connect and uh, uh, calculate uh, and show in augmented reality. So let me, let me build on that because PTC as a CAD company, as a PLM company, has done a phenomenal job of using software and technology to be able to design things to a level of specificity and tolerance that just wasn't able to be done before, and it's revolutionized how people build products. But now, because technology's advanced, you can leverage that information in your drawings, in your systems, to create a new kind of an artifact, a digital twin, that allows a business that's working closely with you to actually render that in an IoT sense and add intelligence to it. If I got that right? You got it exactly right. So making the copy, if we've been, we can draw it and we can design the physical part and we can make the digital twin of the physical part with sensors. So in that way you can, you can loop back and see if the calculation, the design, the engineering you have made is the right uh, fit or you need to change things. So you can optimize product with having the live digital twin of the things that you design physically. So it's like a model, except it's not a model. It's, like a, it's a real world instantiation. Right? Model is an estimate, right? But digital twin is actual it's, real it's, data. It's feed it by live yeah. data, yeah. so you have a real copy of what's going on. And we use it for not only closing the loop of designing uh, products, but also to optimize in the uh, industrial 4.0, to optimize operation and uh, creating manufacturing of things, and we use it to connect things, so you can do uh, predictive maintenance, or you can turn products to be a service, so instead of selling an asset, the company can buy by click, by use, because the products are connected. I, 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 want to, I want to really amplify this, Dave, because it's really yeah. important, I want to test this with you, because the whole concept of using technology, IOT technology, to improve the operational uh, efficiency, to improve the serviceability, to evolve your business models, your ability to do that is tied back to the fidelity of the models you're using for things that are delivering the services. 
And I don't think the world fully understands the degree to which it's a natural leap from CAD and related technologies into building the digital artifacts that are going to be necessary to make that all work. Have I got that right? You got it completely right. So it, it is moving from having live information from the physical object. So if you go to augmented reality, so you have the opportunity to look at things and get live information about temperature, uh, power, streaming of uh, water, and all the things that goes on in, inside the product. You also have the opportunity to, to understand if there's something wrong with the product, you can click on it, and you can be directed on how to change and service things live on the augmented reality, or built by uh, the, the, the cat drawing in the beginning that is combined with sensor information. And simulate, and, and test, and all the other things that are hard, but obviously, to do that, you need a whole bunch of other technology, and I guess that's where HPE comes in. Exactly. Absolutely. In fact, uh, um, to, to bounce on, on that thought, um, we talk a lot about connected operation, where you know, we are showing the, the digital twin. But one of the uh, uh, new uh, use cases that we're showing on the floor here is what we call smart product engineering. So we're basically using the CAD environment of Creo, running on that edge line with edge compute, you know, enterprise compute capability, manageability and security, and running on that same platform then simulation uh, from uh, companies like Ansys, right? And then doing 3D printing, quick, pro quick prototyping, and basically uh, instrumenting the prototype. We're using a bike the saddle stem of a bike to showcase. And then we get able to uh, connect uh, and collect the data. Uh, we're partnering with National Instruments, who are also well known, and re-inject the, the real data into the digital model. So again, co the engineers can compare their thought and their design you know, assumptions with the real physical prototype and accelerate time to market. But PTC has been a leader in starting with the CAD and then pulling it through uh, product lifecycle management, PLM. Yeah, yeah, right. that's so right. talk about how this is going to alter the way PLM becomes a design tool for digital business. Yeah, that's I, right. If, if I'm right. You, you're right. It, it, it becomes an industrial innovation platform from creating the product to the full life cycle of it. All the way out to the business model. All the way out to the business model. And talking about uh, analytics, so if you have a lot of data and you want to make sure you get some decision made uh, fast about uh, predictive maintenance, that's an area where we are partnering with HP, so we have a lot of power close in the edge, close to the products that can do the calculations from the devices, from the product, and do some fast results in order to do predictive maintenance and only send the results away from the location. So what are some of the things you guys are most excited about, Olivier? Um, well, uh, really excited about making those uh, use cases, being the smart product engineering or the predictive maintenance, you know, work for our customers. So uh, behind, let's say we have great solutions, now we're partnering on the sales front to kind of go together uh, to customers. We have huge install base on both sides and picking the right uh, you know, uh, customers interested in this digital transformation and make it real for them, right? Because uh, we know it's a journey, we know it's kind of the crawl, walk, run, and it's really about accelerating, you know, turning insights into information uh, and into actions. And that's really where we are, you know, um, uh, very much excited to work together. And so, it's not just, uh, so the collaboration is extending to go to market is what, I, what I'm hearing. And so, What's the uptake been like? What are customers, our customers must be asking you, where, where do I start? Um, what do you tell them? Before you start, it's important that you have a business uh, case, a business uh, value, you understand what you want to achieve by uh, integrating an IoT solution. That's important. Then you need to figure out uh, what is the data, what is the uh, fast solution I need to take uh, and then you can start deciding on the planning of your implementation of the IoT. Can I go back one step further? You yeah. tell me if I got that. Uh, and that one step further is, look, every or it, innovation and adoption happens faster when you can take an existing asset and create new value with it. Exactly. So aren't, isn't PTC actually starting by saying, hey, you've already got these designs. You've already got these models. 
reuse them, create new life, give them new life, create new value with them. Do things in ways that now you can work with your customers totally differently. And isn't that kind of where it starts? It, it does. And with, you already have a good portion of what you need. Yeah. So in order to make a fast value out of your new product or the new thing you can do with the product, connecting the products, then uh, PDC and HP is a good platform to move You know, on. the, the pre-tested, pre-certified, packaging the, the software with the hardware is uh, allowing our customer to go faster to proof of concept and then to production. So um, uh, we have a number of uh, workshops customers can come. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning, in uh, Germany, in, ha in Aachen, or in uh, Houston at our Techsmart facility, where we can basically walk the talk with customers and start those early uh, POCs, defining the business uh, success factors, the business value they want to take out of it, and basically get, get the, the ball rolling. But um, it's really exciting because uh, you know, we have, uh, we're touching really some of the key digital transformation of our enterprise customers. And don't forget, that you need a partner that can do a good job in service because you need an organization that can help you get it through and HP are a strong service uh, organization too. Well, well, this idea of the intelligent edge has a lot of obviously executive support at, at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. The kids buzzing at theCUBE today. Meg Whitman's in the house where she's right next door and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a quick cutaway to Meg, give her a shout out, trying to get her over here to talk about you know, her six year tenure here. But you know that, top-down executive support has been so critical uh, in terms of HPE getting early into the edge, IOT, intelligent edge you call it. Tom Bradichich, obviously a leader who's coming on. Uh, you mentioned National Instruments, PTC. You guys were first, really, from a traditional IT business to really get into that, that space. Absolutely, we're also the first to converge OT and IT. So uh, we're showing on the floor what we're doing in end-of-line quality testing for automotive, for example, taking PXI standard, which is like uh, um, instrumentation and real-time data acquisition into our Converge Edge system. So what I found is really uh, amazing. You take the, the same architecture and we can do it edge to core to cloud, right? That's very powerful. One software framework, one uh, IT architecture that span out. Yeah. Not sometime in the future, but right now. So we exactly. talk right about, now. We talk about a, a three, maybe even a three A, four tier data model, yeah. where you've got data at the edge, yeah. real time. Maybe you don't persist all of it, or a lot of it. Oh. We, we call it experience data, yeah. or primary data at the edge, event data, or secondary data, yes. and then uh, business uh, uh, optimization data, at the, at, the, so at, the, at the top level, at the, at the cloud. So let's unpack that a little bit and get your perspective. So the edge, obviously you talk about real time decision making, autonomous cars, you're not going to go back to the cloud to make that decision. That what you call a core, uh, that's, what did you call it? Uh, uh, the hybrid, oh, event. hybrid IT. Event. Yeah, event. That's, yeah. a, that's an aggregation point, right? To collect a lot of the data from the edge. And then, then the cloud maybe is where you do the do deep analysis. analysis and do the deep modeling. And that cloud can be on-prem or it can be in the public cloud. Is that a reasonable data model uh, for the flow of data for edge and IoT? It, it, I believe it is, because the, it, some of these um, products generate a lot of data, and you need to be able to handle that data. And uh, honestly, connectivity is not for free, and sometimes it's difficult it's in, if it's in the industry uh, uh, floor, manufacturing floor, uh, you need good connectivity, but you still have uh, limitations. So if you can do the local analytics and then you only send the results to the core, then uh, it's a perfect uh, model. And then there's a lot of regulations around data. So mm -hmm. for many countries, and especially in Europe, there's uh, um, boundaries around the data. It's not all that you can move to a, a, a cloud, and especially if it's out of the country. So. The model makes uh, a good hybrid in between uh, speed, connectivity, analytics, and uh, the legislation. And, and you, it. you both have solutions at each layer? Absolutely, so Absolutely. it's like, uh, <laughs> so PTC can run at the edge, at the core, or in the cloud. And of course we uh, you know, are powering yeah. the, the, the three pillars. And uh, um, I think what's also interesting to know is that with the advance in uh, artificial intelligence, as was uh, uh, you know, exposed during the main session, 
data is pivotal. You need to keep a lot of data in order to uh, learn from, from those data, right? So um, uh, I think it's quite fascinating that we're going to store more and more data and probably make some useful right away, but, and maybe store some that we will come back to it. That's why we're working also with companies like um, uh, OSI Soft, an historian, which is you know, collecting this timestamp data for later uh, utilization. Um, but uh, I wanted also to say that the, um, what's great working with PTC is that it's, uh, it's kind of a, a workflow, a media, in terms of collecting the data, contextualizing them, and then visual, visualization, and then uh, you know, analytics. But we're developing a rich ecosystem because in this complex world of IoT, again, it's kind of an art and a science. And the ability to partner uh, ourselves, but also our, let's say, friendly partners is very, very critical. Guys, oh good, last I, word. I, I will say, uh, we started with the digital twin, and for some companies, they might be late to get the digital twin. The longer you have had collecting data the from a live product, the better the model gets. The stronger yeah. you will be, the, the leaders better will, the better model you can do yeah. because you have the bigger data. So it's a matter of getting the data in to the twin. It's exactly what our research suggests. It's, it's We've had a lot of examples of this. It's the difference between sampling and having an entire corpus of data. Exactly. Uh, Kurt, Olivier, thanks very much for Dave coming here. Thank you so much. Great segment, guys. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, keep it right there, everybody. Dave Vellante for Peter Burris. We'll be back at Madrid right after this short break. <laughs>